hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all first i want to say happy monday y'all i hope everybody's having a wonderful day and please stay safe y'all and even though i say happy monday i know it's a lot of people that's not happy right now y'all okay there was um another school hitting this morning y'all this morning and this time it happened in nashville and um, they're saying that it was done by a 28-year-old woman. She um, took out three kids and three adults at a private Christian school. This is what they're saying, y'all. Um, this is so sad. You know, every since, you know, everybody was getting sick and all this stuff and they closed down the schools and all this stuff. I just haven't been feeling right about sending, you know, my little sisters back to school. And this is one of the reasons why that they're, you know, in a program right now that's done from home because it just gives you a peace of mind. It's just too much going on. And I say this all the time. I say, I do not understand why there's so much money being made in America. So much money being made, y'all. Um, The food prices are sky high. It's just money being made all over the place. The taxes is steady rising. Um, people can't get medical treatments, you know, without losing their homes. It's so much going on. And the rich is steady getting richer. And I say this all the time. I do not understand why we're not using our police department in places where they need to be, you know, placed at. It just don't make any sense. I see people all the time, the police, and they're sitting around doing nothing. Now, I ain't going to say all of them don't do nothing. But a majority of the time, when you come outside, they are parked somewhere on the side sleep or just mingling and tingling around, y'all, and not doing anything. And for a while, you know, in the summertime, they start putting the police on bikes and all kind of stuff. Why not place them in places where they are needed right now, y'all? It's the crimes that's going up on um, public transportations, the buses, the ales. People are getting hit up on the buses and ales all the time now. What's wrong with getting them out of the police cars and let placing them in places where they need to be at? This should not be a school budget thing or anything. The police should be round the clock in the very most very important places. And schools should be top of the line, y'all. You should not have to send your kids to school and be worried if they're going to make it back home. When you got all of these polices that's employed right now. They are employed. And I'm going to tell you all this. Certain times a month, you see the polices more than others. And a lot of people used to say, oh, they trying to make up their quotes. You know, you know, when they start pulling people over for tickets and stuff because they're trying to, you know, get a certain amount of tickets in before the month is out. You know, they'll come out when it's time for them to, you know, make their quotes. When they should already, and it should not, and like I said, it should not have nothing to do with the school system. They shouldn't have to pay for police round the clock protection. There should be a police officer armed in every school. It's a couple of hours a day, y'all. And if they don't want to sit there all day, Give them a couple of hours and then let them rotate. Let another cop come in there until it's time for them to close. And all the schools should have this protection. Now, what I don't understand about this story, and I'm about to get to it, y'all, is they got... Uh, the person that came in there and did this to these children and these adults, they came through the sad door, y'all. The door should be locked. Nobody shouldn't be able to walk in there off the street. What is going on, y'all? I just don't understand it. That anybody can walk in off the street with semi-automatics and walk right in and do what they got to do. This is sad. Okay, here we go. 
An armed 28-year-old woman fatally shoots three children, three adults, at a private Christian school in Nashville before she was taken out herself by the police. Okay, this is what the authorities are reporting. The hitter who was not identified entered the Covenant School via a side door and was armed with at least two assault-style rifles, y'all. And a handgun. A female this time, y'all. A female. This is what Metro Nashville Police spokesperson Dunn Aaron is reporting. She fired multiple shots on the first and second floors of the school before police fatally took her out on the second floor. The first call on the hitting came in at 10.13 a.m., y'all. And if y'all know more about numbers, y'all will know that, um, that go that 113, okay? I was just talking about this number 113 yesterday, okay, y'all? Um, the hitter was taken out at 1027. And that 217 been coming up a lot too, okay, y'all? I want y'all to pay this attention. As well as the murder by numbers 369 is popping up. The date, 327. That go to three, that go to nine. And then if you think about the three adults and three children were taken out, there go to six, y'all. They go to three, six, nines all over this police report right here, y'all. This um news report. Make it make sense, y'all. Make this make sense. Police are working to analyze video from the school showing the incident. This is what they're doing. They're going over the footage. Police initially said the hitter appeared to be in her teens, but later said she was a 28-year-old white woman who lives in Nashville. Police Chief John Drake said in his initial findings show she was at one point a student at the school. So she used to go to the school. And then she turns around and get three weapons, y'all. And she goes in there. And mind you, this is an elementary school. Okay? Up to sixth grade. Up to sixth grade. There go another six for you. Okay, y'all? This don't make no sense. This keep happening over and over and over again. This is sad. Um, rest in peace to um, the victims. And y'all, pray for the families. I am sending out my condolences to the families. This is so sad on so many levels. And this keep happening over and over and over again. And um, people are not doing nothing about it, y'all. Nothing about it. You know, as sad as it was, you know, out of all, you know, all of them are sad. But when that, you know, hit and happen a while ago and they went in there and they pretty much aired out the whole classrooms. Y'all, that was so intense that you would think that, you know, our government would make would be making sure right now that this never happens again. If they could, you know, have the power to take, you know, take the wheel and make sure that this never happens again. If they really cared, to me, we have so many police that is um, employed in each city and state. More po police than we need, to be honest with y'all, okay? And we don't have that many schools. So what's wrong with putting them around the clock in the schools that we do have, y'all? I don't, I don't understand it. What's wrong with giving them a job? Um, they already have a job, just placing them where they need to be placed at. What is wrong with that? No matter what school it is. If that school is accredited school and um, you have children there, why not send somebody there? And why do you have doors open that people can walk in? I just don't understand it. You know, when I was taking the kids to school, we had to get buzzed in. You ring the doorbell, they say, you know, what are you coming here for? You let them know your name, all that stuff, and then they let you in. So tell me why. This woman walked through a side door with all of these weapons. Tell me why, y'all. I just don't get it. 
People are paying all this money out. Every time you go to the store, what used to cost $5 costs $10 now. They're not going up a dollar or two dollars or nothing. They're going up doubling things now. You used to buy a, a big, them long packs of cheese, y'all. Used to be five, four ninety nine. They nine ninety nine, y'all. <clears throat> they're taking, you know, help from people. They're taking people off. They're cutting their links and all that stuff. But they're not pushing the issue of the stores that still has the prices rising. Everything is just getting so much worse and nothing is being done to make things any better. A lot of lies are being told around election time. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Nobody's doing nothing. Nobody's taking it upon themselves to say, you know, we got to change some things around. The mayors and all these people that's controlling the police stations. Why can't you put the police where they are needed? The most, y'all. There should not be no parents in America that's dropping their kids off at school, y'all. And worried if they're going to be there when they get back. Or if they're going to get a phone call saying something happened. Now, no accidents happen all the time. But this is not an accident, y'all. This is well planned out what's being going on right now. When you go take three weapons into a school, this is planned. This was very well premeditated. You know where to go in at. You're going to sneak in through this side door. This door be open all the time. We're going to go through there. It shouldn't be this easy, y'all. It should not be this easy. I don't get it. I do not understand it. It don't make sense. She had 14 minutes. And you can do a lot of damage in a school in 14 minutes. It just so happened she only took out six people. Rest their souls, y'all. But look what she could have done. This could have been way worse. You don't have armed securities in the school. You don't have no police officers on some type of route, ro rotation or something in the schools, y'all. And every time election comes up, only thing they talk about, oh, he wants to cut the, the police budget, so don't vote for him. Work with the budget that you have. Work with the officers that you have and, and, and put them to use where they are needed, y'all. People are getting attacked on the buses. You can't even go get on a, on a bus or the L's now without getting attacked or robbed. Put the police where they are needed. What's wrong with rotating these police officers and giving them a place, a designated place to go to instead of just riding around all day? Because they're never around when you really need them. There, I see so many people that drives like a mad person, y'all. And you be like, where's the cops when you need them? Because they be running lights and all that stuff. They be doing all kind of weird stuff, telling people just, you know, zigzagging all up in different lanes. And where do the police be when you need them? And then when there's nobody doing anything, you see them sitting to the side and they're asleep. A lot of times you pull by them, they're asleep in the car. When they're put somewhere that they got to sit to watch the traffic. But you're not watching the traffic at the time when you need them to be watching the traffic. I mean, make it make sense, y'all. Put them where they're needed. We have so many um people from the Army coming back. They need jobs. We're so concerned about everybody else's country that is so much going wrong in our own. We can pay... The people in the army and the military to go to all these other countries and oversee the stuff that's going on over there. But we can't pay our own military to protect our children, y'all, to protect the churches. People can't even go to a place of worship anymore without those places getting hit up. People go to church, what, once a week? What's wrong with putting somebody around the churches 
so that they can go and feel at ease to go and worship. You know, this stuff just don't make any sense anymore, y'all. Okay? What's wrong with putting military people around the schools to make sure that people are safe in there? Somebody that know what they're doing with automatic weapons so they can know what to deal, how to deal with somebody that comes around with the automatic weapon. One, two, or three of them when they feel like coming into the schools. So there are no casualties except for the person that's coming there to start some mess. What is wrong with this, y'all? This picture does not seem right to me. Why are we so concerned with every other country except our own, y'all? Anyway, y'all, um, I, I, I'm done with this. I Y'all just pray for the families, y'all. That's all I can say. Like, this is, I'm tired of reporting on kids being taken out, y'all. I'm so sick of this mess. I really am. I'm so tired of it. I was just re talking about Christians yesterday. I was just talking about, you know, that 113 number. And then this is, lo and behold, look what happens today. If we don't have a spiritual warfare going on, I just, I don't know what it is, y'all. That you go into a cat, you know, a, a Christian, you know, private school and light the place up. And they're not saying why yet. And I'm so curious to know why. Because I thought at first, well, maybe it's a parent that's mad about, you know, maybe somebody was messing with their child, something like that. I thought about that. And I was like, no, nah, that don't make no sense. Because, you know, why would you go in there with three weapons? And automatics at that and stuff like that. Why would you, you know, that don't make no sense. This is somebody that, you know, playing this out. And it was just some bull crap, y'all. But I want to see. I am curious to see why. And if she got into it with some of the adults, why did you take three of the kids out? You know, something just don't add up here, y'all. And then you go from one floor to the other. I am so surprised there weren't more casualties, y'all. 14 minutes, y'all. And she knew the school because she went there. <sighs> oh, well, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.